Hey everybody, my name is Angie Morenga. You're watching Just Angie. It's another Sunday sermon. We've been having serious conversations. Hey, these people are real. My mm -hmm. and for sure. The anointing <laughs> is real. It has birthed serious purpose. So sit back, enjoy. And um, I hope you get a lot of takeouts and a lot of your questions answered, your fears addressed as we talk about the new church and, and discipleship. environment like that yeah. I mean that's fantastic isn't that incredible mm. you know where you're basically you're 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 like no you go read yeah. go, go read what, mm. what has God what have you heard what have God you heard? saying what have yeah, you heard God say because he speaks yeah. to everyone yeah. yeah what have you heard God say go read the Bible yeah, yeah go pray and um, you see I think we're, we're born with that innate ability to I still do those so. things yeah. yeah to we're actually born with that ability it's because it. life sears it off can we yeah. say yeah. that mm. but we're born with that ability yeah. mm. it's like the picture that comes to mind mm. they always say that if you throw a kid nobody wants to do it but if you throw a, a newborn baby into water yes. mm. it will float yes mm. yes 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 it's just yeah. automatic it's over, yeah. no everyone has refused to test that yeah. notion of course <laughs> yeah. and your baby will test yeah. it yeah. but they say yeah. Yeah. if you put the baby in water yes. it will just float yeah. Yeah. so it's the same thing i think we are all born with that with that innate ability to hear, yeah. right. to hear what we call God or to hear your creator. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, or yes. to know, we have a strong sense of discernment. Yeah. We do. Uh, yeah. Of knowing things. Yeah, yeah, so imagine equipping your children mm. to yeah. be able to tap into that yeah. from a very early age. Yeah. Powerful. Very powerful. It is, mm. it is. Wow. Yeah, new church, man. It's 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 I think for me it's it's an exciting, it's an exciting idea. And mm. even when you talk about the uh, I loved what you said when you talked about the, um, you know, the the the, the, the small group, or this whatever question. whatever word that whatever word it it will be, you know. But the whole idea of you know, um, smaller gatherings, mm -hmm. um, and and not even looking down on the bigger gathering, mm -hmm. but just saying there's also this need for um, true human connection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but then not just connection, because, uh, you know, uh, good stories can just be good stories. Mm -hmm. eh? You know, people at the bar ha actually have good, connections. good connection. Yeah, eh? yeah, connection. But, then, but then connections that push you forward, that, that, that push you into purpose. Push you into your yeah. purpose, yes. that, that right. you know, help you overcome life's yeah. challenges, mm -hmm. that basically refuse for you to be stay where you are. Yes. Yes. To get help stuck, stay yeah. there, yeah. or yeah. go behind, yeah. or regress, yeah. exactly. or even take your own life, we yeah. refuse. Yeah. We are going to get through this. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And yeah. it's amazing, I was talking to a lady who went to the prison. You know people who we don't expect to go to the prison. I think nobody expects to go there, but mm. when you find yourself there, they, the one thing they said is that when they got there, they looked around and they said, see the other people here. Mm. See, these people have survived. Mm. Mm. Even me. You know how you have to have a talk with yourself? Yeah. Oh, wow. Even yeah. me, yeah. I'm going to survive. survive. So that's what I'm feeling. Yeah. That connection yeah. should be able to tell us, yeah. see, People are making it here. Right. Yeah. People are getting through these struggles. Yes. People are getting through the same painful life. Yeah. Yes. Even me, I'm I can do make it. it. Yeah. And then we walk through and we get it done. Wow. But hearing you both speak means I think the responsibility on us, as because you, you're saying we are the church. Yeah. It really requires us to be a lot more vulnerable. Mm. Yes. Oh, then we have to yeah. be. Yeah. To be able to mm. open up your heart and have no shame. Mm. Yeah. And feel that you know this mm. my sharing will actually your story, yeah, mm. yeah. And the authenticity is not easy. Yeah, I remember once sharing, and then I think past them to, to, telling me the realness ministers. But the realness also comes to a point. I mean, they even people write to me and say, hey, "Pastor, is that one is too, too much? much. Yeah. That's too yeah. much yeah. sharing." I'm like, "Hey, work a break. yeah, work a break, <laughs> kiddo." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 whole platform is for yeah. teaching. Yeah. Yeah. So and for learning, and you're right. learning from my life, not somebody else's yeah. life. Yeah. So if I don't share, yeah. Yeah. what has gone on in my life? Well, how are we gonna learn? Yeah. Yeah. How are we going to learn it's what's true. going on in my life? Wow. So, so we good. have to be authentic. We have to. Wow. Yeah. We have to say I'm also struggling with this. Right. Mm. Right. And you see there's something about not not finding companion and then we create a pity party. But we find a companion and we say we're going to break out of this. Yeah. yeah. It's for it's for it's, it's for moving for forward. It's for motion. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's for movement. Yeah. And it that's the church, the church is also supposed to be a movement. Yes, yes. It's supposed to be a, a living, moving mm. being. Yes, right. yes, yes, yes. So and and, and even, when, even when we talk about, because it goes back to the discipleship mm. idea, right? 
because if you're saying there is you know there's discipleship that's happening meaning people are getting to love god more connect with their purpose more be better um carers of humanity mm. um if all of that is happening uh, within within this setting that's mm. discipleship that's discipleship right uh, and and it means then that 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 the church then now is 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 being the church and being the, all that relevant and everything that people are saying. Uh, exactly, you're, you're actually carrying out your duty. You're you're you're, you're c- touching humanity. You're carrying humanity. Yeah. You're you're. I like the way S K Blue says, "Fall in love with the why and the why is transformation," and yeah. that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. This word of God is supposed to transform us. Right. Yeah. And for some, but like for me, there's no argument. Yeah. The day I go born again, that's it. I yeah. cannot believe my life is like from. Moving from what he yeah. Yeah. is it for it to even three sixty <laughs> yeah. and it was a complete turn around yeah. Yeah. and a turn around that you cannot explain yeah. right so you can't give me your English and grammar to try to explain yeah. it yeah. I got born again and everything changed, changed for the better mm. wow. and my life took another trajectory yeah mm. so just imagine just do it yeah. be there have a renewal of mind yeah. and then we had a community we had a very strong community yeah, yeah, with which did. to grow in yeah. before did i could even say i don't know what pastor simon had put yeah. me into yeah. school of prayer <laughs> yeah. into break because i mean i did seven school of prayer that's how bad i was wow. doing in terms of prayer seven because i did the first one then i discipled i helped i served yes, right, through right. the others but yeah. all the experiences they were having you know so there was there was school of prayer there was breakthrough service there was the the worship there was the actual mavuno service were wow. involved yeah. there was uh, that's where the yeah, community yeah. happened yeah. life groups yeah. the first life group i went to and you know it was a good thing that they really hounded me to go to those life groups mm. you know those nagging phone calls you're <laughs> yes, like they yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> cannot call again yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what is this life group i'm yeah. not going yeah. you know and i'm such a good example. i'm not going yes. yeah. but the day i went first of all remember yeah. Um, and you see now, authenticity mm-hmm. is the day I knew I was going to leave my husband. Wow. wow. That's the day. Actually, I've never shared that. And I went. Wow. And I said, Father, please help. You see, you know, you know, you know how you know how to yeah. pray. Help me not to cry. Wow. I just want to sit yeah. in this fellowship. Yeah. I don't want anybody to notice that I'm not saying anything. I forgot they're not my people. You know, my yeah. people know. Hey, why, yeah. are so why are you so quiet? Yeah. But I entered that life group. I'll never forget. I can remember the house. I can't remember whose house it was. But I just entered that life group. Wow. And I've never felt such peace. I didn't say oh, a word. Wow. Wow. I didn't say one word. But I, I didn't cry as well. Mm. But I just sat. Mm-hmm. I don't even know what they were talking about. Mm. <laughs> but you were just Me, I was letting mad. it wash yeah. over you. And I just felt encouraged. Mm. Wow. Empowered. Wow. And there I went. Maybe I should make another last Amazing. confession before we pray. Uh-huh. So this is my life group now. So I started the going same, now. The same, same one life now. group, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think I found a, the lady who had been calling me. I think we started, we were working together then at some point now, so we became friends. But after the life group, I would go and have a beer. Imagine that was my, yeah. really the things we take yeah. people through. Can yeah. Yeah. She like, I apologize. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I tell her, if I'm going to your life group, yeah. after the life group, yeah. you take me to have a beer. Imagine yeah. that was the work. Yeah. So, but then I got wind off. That's yeah. another yeah. thing with community. Yeah. Yeah. Then I didn't need the beer anymore, yeah. you know. But isn't that the realness though? Yeah, yeah that is. I mean, the fact that you could even That's say that. Me, you know, yeah. that, that is, that me, is I'll so go to your life group yeah. you take me to that go and have a, so you have to go and catch a pint yeah, after, after the life yeah. group. So yeah. I did. Yeah. And there it was and it became a community, yeah. vibrant, we're and still in touch community. with even the original ones wow. until today. I mean, just amazing. That's community. Absolutely I amazing. I put on my face and pretend. Yeah. 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 yeah, but I remember the first one was after something very, that was a very drastic moment for me but yeah. I really enjoyed it. So you see, at the end of it, it was good for me. So yeah. I think sometimes even looking to somebody out there, you guys out there, yeah. these things that you are fighting, stop fighting, move. Mm. Especially if you just move along with them because yeah. th- that was it. That was, yeah. I really needed that community. Yeah. And thank God for that nagging person who had kept calling me yeah. Yeah. because now when, I, when, 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 when the rubber hit the road, I knew where to go. Mm. Yeah. And I just went and sat and then I kept going. Mm. Yeah, and it was fun. It was really nice fun. Really was. I love and it. And I grew. I love it. New church. But any closing statements? I think it's just the call on us to be to be vulnerable, mm. to be more willing to share our lives and mm. ourselves and our truths. 
and to seek God for mm. ourselves also. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. I think for me is is I think dare to adventure. Mm. You know, life in God is a beautiful adventure. It is. Yeah. And and even as Mundi is saying, being vulnerable, looking for community, um, don't do life alone. Mm-hmm. Like like there's this beautiful life that's an adventure that's so much fun that God has created for us. Mm-hmm. Um, that even the struggles are just stories waiting to happen in the future. Mm-hmm. You know, because because I, I love um, this is Andy Stanley who talks about courage is doing the thing today that I want to tell the story about tomorrow. Tomorrow, and and so every single pain that you're going through yeah. is just a story tomorrow. that's waiting to be Have told. Story what, tomorrow, you know, Let that's that's tomorrow. gonna be a blessing to someone. Yeah. That's gonna be this, you know. So just engage in the, in the adventure mm. of 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 following this amazing God. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. Wow, I have so much to say, but I'll just say that mm. I think um, community is very key. Mm. Being in community is key. Also, the things that you don't like to do, or you have an inkling that you need to do them, like maybe join the community, serve in the church, but you just are fighting it. I think those are the things you need to get into because mm. they have the the ability to change your life, mm. to right. really turn it around. Yeah. And um, I'll echo Wendy. If you don't share your stories, then everybody thinks we are perfect, yeah. and we are not. Yeah. Um, and therefore they don't even know, they think they're so imperfect and they're so wrong that they don't know that there's a way out mm. um, of, um, of the situations and, the, and I feel like the darkness that people find, find themselves in. And I guess I challenge you to be light, be salt and light, mm. whatever that means, you know. And, and growing old is such a beautiful thing because also me, I'm braver in my, in my old <laughs> age, yeah. very much more, I mean, very, very much so because there's all this trying to hide behind yeah. keeping up appearances is yeah. not going to help anyone. Yeah. So I just know that life is about purpose and I think I like the way can can just always bring us back to that place of purpose. Um, this is about purpose. Mm. And your purpose is just to make, like Wendy said, humanity and the world a better place. So mm. I really pray that we've challenged you to do that. Mm. I feel like there's so much we didn't talk about, but uh, <laughs> we really had such an awesome time. Yeah. So I really thank God for you. Um, I think Wendy's got this amazing gift, so mm-hmm. I think I will ask her to pray for us mm-hmm. and do whatever the Spirit leads her. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, as we end this series. Mm-hmm. And thank you so much. Yeah. That was so amazing. That was amazing. Thank, you. This thank you. Thank you for having us. You're this so was, welcome. Yeah, thank yeah. you. And I can't wait for what's next. Yes. Yes. What's next? We shall be back with what's next. Yes. Lakini, what's next? Yeah. We'll be back. Yeah. Yeah. Wendy. All right. Mm-hmm. Um... I think mine is just to encourage you, maybe you're watching, and um, I think um, you feel that your story is not important, Mm -hmm. and that you are not important. I think there's someone in particular who is feeling that, that Mm -hmm. they they have nothing to share, that their life life story is of no value. Mm -hmm. Um, I think this video was made for you today Mm. to remind you and to let you know that God created you and when he created you he thought you are good and wonderful Mm. he made you fearfully and wonderfully so there's no story that's too small there's no story that's too irrelevant there's no story that's too insignificant Um, your story is important you are important and you will help someone Mm. just by being you so I encourage you to step out to know and tell yourself and keep telling yourself that you are fearfully and you are wonderfully made and because of that your life will impact and your world will be different just because you are here Mm. Um, so please please hear that Um, and maybe we can we can pray Mm. Um, Mm -hmm. for someone who wants to ask God to use their story and to use their lives Mm. uh, for his glory Heavenly Father, we come before you to say thank you. Thank you that you are a good God and that you love us so much that you create videos and uh, prompt people to have conversations, Lord God, that remind us that you made us for a purpose, that you see us 
that you love us, that when you made us, you were satisfied. Mm -hmm. And you said we are good, that we are enough. And Lord, I just want to pray, especially for the person who may be watching this, who is feeling uh, less than good, less than less than who you created them to be. Mm -hmm. Father, I just pray that your Holy Spirit would touch them right now, that you would lift them up, that you would encourage them, that you would remind them right there, wherever they are, Father God, that you have a good and perfect plan for them, that they are not insignificant, mm -hmm. that Father, you created them for a reason and you take <coughs> pleasure in, in, in who they are. Mm -hmm. So Father, I pray that you would use their lives, that you would use their story, that you would use the different things that happen to them that they think are too small or too invaluable mm -hmm. or too insignificant. Mm -hmm. Father, that you would use that, Lord, and show them and open up their eyes, Father God, to seeing the difference that they are and the difference that they are making in their community, in their space, in their world. So, Father, I pray a blessing upon them. I pray that your peace, which surpasses all understanding, would guard their hearts and minds. I pray that you would surround them, that your joy, Father God, would be their strength, mm. that you would encourage them. Father, that your favor may surround them. They may mm. find favor first mm -hmm. before you mm. and before men, mm. and that you would fill their cup, Lord God, yes, Lord. that they may know, that they may know they are valuable and they are good, and that mm. their story is, is powerful and it will impact and it will change someone, Lord. Mm. And maybe you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal savior. Um, we always want to give you the opportunity to accept him into your heart. Um, he is the author of your story. And if you want to do that, maybe we can just pray together. Mm. Just repeat after me. Heavenly Father, I thank you that you are God, that you are the God who created me. And because you created me, you have a good and perfect plan for me. <laughs> Lord, I ask you to come into my heart today to be the Lord of my life, to be the savior of my life. Lord, I ask you to write my name in your book of life, that you would write my story, that today, Lord, that you would lead me, that you would light my path, and that, Lord God, my life would bring you glory. Lord, I ask that you may cleanse me of all my sins, Cleanse me of all my unrighteousness and lead me to a community, to a group of people, Lord, where I can grow and where I can serve you and know you more. I thank you, for it's in the name of Jesus I pray. Amen. 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 And that, um, find a good uh, church to go to, yeah. um, get some discipleship, mm. um, learn as much as you can and be around people. Um, so that it can be modeled to you and I almost feel like so that also you can be uh, a model citizen and a model mm. human being mm. representing God here accurately on the earth. God bless you. I really hope you've enjoyed the, the four parts that we've had, the four summons, uh, Sunday sermons um, series that we've had with Kanji and Wendy. Can't wait to hear from you. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm.